Tanya. What's up? Oh, 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 Olympus. <laughs> hey guys, it's Priscilla from New York. Today, I was walking to my car in Brooklyn near Coney Island Beach, and suddenly I saw two people sitting on the streets. They looked very upset. Hungry, needy, and looked like they needed some help. I gave them a few dollars, but when they received these few dollars, they acted as if they received a million dollars. They hugged me many times. They tried to say many things to me. But I didn't understand most things. In my eyes, they looked very hungry and sick. And because of that, they weren't physically and mentally a hundred percent normal. I stood there for a few minutes and watched them and tried to feel them, tried to feel the sufferings of hunger, tried to feel how they felt, how they sat on the street without any blanket or anything. The lady tried to tell me she was a doctor or something. I knew what she was saying was not true. She was just saying what she wanted to. I knew she didn't shower for a long time. I knew she didn't use the restroom properly. And I knew she wasn't clean. But when she wanted to hug me, I didn't feel bad. I felt as if I was hugging an angel. And felt very proud. When I asked if she was hungry, she named some foods. I bought those foods and ate with them. Honestly speaking, from my heart, while eating with them, I felt more proud than I would if I ate with any president. It was an honor for me to have the opportunity to eat with them. They shared some stories with me. The man was quiet and the woman told me their stories. When her tears started pouring, it looked as if it was raining cats and dogs. I tried many times to hold back my tears. But I was unable to hide my tears. This is the life. Some people live every day in Burj Al Arab. Some people travel in private jets. Some people drive a Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini or Mercedes Benz. Some people spend millions of dollars every night in casinos, nightclubs, and bars. On the other hand, some people don't have a roof over their head. Some people don't even have 
a small piece of cloth under them. I hope this is the time to change our mentality. This is the time to stop fighting over small things like power, color, religion, etc. This is the time to help each other. If we cannot help people whose lives are miserable, who live on the streets, don't have any extra clothes, are hungry, thirsty, or have some diseases, if we cannot help them, then we have to ask ourselves what kind of humans we are. What do we learn from big universities and school? What kind of religious are we? We have to remember Mother Teresa's one dialogue always. Helping hands are better than praying lips. Guys, I don't have any words. I hope everyone who watched this video knows what to do. We spend lots of money here and there. You never know what will happen in the future. You never know what will happen if we lose our jobs or if a natural disaster strikes. We can be like them too sometimes in the future. So lend them a hand, pull them up and give them a new life. I don't think there's any religious act greater than helping others. Love you guys, and I will see you in another video. Bye.